So Soul Sims fam, welcome to a new Let's Play with this uh, Planet Zoo franchise mode. Um, I just am about to start my second uh, location for this franchise and I thought I'd show you guys. It is raining like crazy here, but um, this is the perfect opportunity to show you guys what it would look like to start from complete scratch. There is literally nothing. Um, this rain makes it almost impossible to see. Um, there's actually quite a bit of terrain here and let me actually turn on the heat map um, here and so this is the building that we were just looking at look at all these mountains in the background look at all that there is so much terrain and a lot of scenery in the background it's looking beautiful um so yeah this is as you can see completely brand new this is a location in europe and I figured let's go ahead and I'm gonna pause that real quick and um, I did close the uh, zoo because there's nothing here so I don't want people trying to come in and being unhappy or complaining or anything so there's literally zero nothing so this is what it looks like when you start from complete scratch um, there's no animals in the habitat um, staff, ha staff happiness is at a hundred percent which is interesting because there's there's none um, so it's interesting, you know, as you look through everything, um, where you start and where you need to go to. Um, so there's, I just want to show you, this is literally completely empty. I just started this um, thing. And so what we're going to do, I think is, oh, I hope this weather is clearing up a little bit. Let me maybe let it play through and it won't be such a rainy day. Look at those mountains, y'all. Wow. Wow. All right, so um, this is also a, a little bit of a textured terrain, as you can see. Um, and so what I want to do is come over here and start to plot out a couple of areas on the map. Maybe I might turn... No, that does not help. I want to take so okay we did pause this is um, the 7th of March in the first year so what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna take some terrain and we're gonna kind of oh, that's not what I was meaning to do um, we're gonna kind of plot out see how this terrain is here I want to kind of look at how this path goes and I'm just gonna plot a couple of points of interest for pathways in the future and um, so I figured the terrain paint is like it doesn't cost anything and you can kind of get a good start because I am not gonna lie I feel like starting with um, I don't know I don't I like that all the way. Uh -uh. Let me see here. We're going to go back with... Oh, was that long grass? Oh, that's long grass. There we go. So it's super easy to undo. Um, I was just going to push those forward a little bit. And then... I feel like we might do like a circle area and this is not going to be exact this is just going to be to get us an example of where we want our pathways and stuff to kind of go you know what I mean and I feel like this kind of helps soften some of the um, edges of just kind of everything I feel like if you have all of your pathways it, and it looks like so perfect with those hard edges all the time, it's kind of like, um, it doesn't feel as natural and inviting to me, I, I guess, is maybe what I'm trying to convey. I don't know. All right, that's good enough for that. Um, let me see. I wish this weather was a little bit more clear because I wanted to be able to kind of look. This is such a massive map um i tend to put like everything 
very um, close together and tight. So I'm trying to figure out a little bit more on how to... Oh, that's maybe the brush that I wanted to use before. So I'm kind of wanting to just get like a basic layout of the, where the pathways are going to go, the directions they're going to go. And then I'm going to um, put in the trading center. And I think we're going to create like a staff area on the front side of this that they can operate from to begin with. And then we'll have like kind of just our main entrance area. So hmm. All right, that's kind of the general direction. And it didn't cost us anything to do that. Whereas in the past, I have done all sorts of the pathway stuff and mess with all the train stuff. And then it, it makes it um, really challenging to actually um, come in later and put habitats in sometimes. But we are gonna... Um, Come through and let me see if we can align to grid here. Because I want to put some of the um, employee path or employee um, and I might undo, hang on, I might back this up a little bit and do it out this way. Again, I don't want it to be too close because I want to leave some space for um, what we need to do. Um, in the future. Nope, that's not it. Aligned a grid. Oh, no. I'm like, that's what happened. It got off track of that. All right. I'm wanting to see if I can get this to like kind of be shaped a little bit nicer. does this it gets so like weird you would think that it would just um, align but it doesn't always maybe if I just I'm like if I do it a little closer there I do feel like this needs to come down here a little bit more but that's okay wait why did that Oh, that changed now. Okay, well, I feel like... Oh. Mm. I don't know why, like, sometimes it seems like it would just be better. There we go. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. I like this cobblestone, too. It's kind of rustic looking. Which goes with the whole European kind of uh, vibe, I would say. So I'm probably going to speed some of this up but while I work on this because um, otherwise it gets a little bit just monotonous. Um,
All right, well, that's looking pretty okay. So now that we've done that and we've made basic areas where we can put a trading center, let's grab that. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and put this little guy over here. That's not what I meant to push. And we're gonna keep it close up by here for now. Because I kind of want it to almost seem like it's part of this main building. And then we're gonna need a staff room. Um, let's go ahead and put, we're gonna put you over here. raise that up make it look cute well that's cute but I don't know if yeah I don't know if it really needs to be like that high let's like get it to the ground maybe oh that's interesting I'm not a, I'm not mad at that but that does make this like a little weird Oh, I'm gonna be nitpicky. Mm. We're gonna bring it down, I think. There we go. That's looking better. Okay, that's much better. Much better! Yay! Oh, I was like, what is that doing? It's just changing size. Okay, now that we've done that, um, let's see. We're gonna need um, a keeper hut. And we're just gonna do a little one over here real quick. I love how these like go together so nicely. Okay, over here we're gonna put some guest facilities right off the front. And of course, one of the biggest things we're gonna always need to start with is a toilet. Why is that so large though? This one smaller? Oh, I like that. Okay, and then we are going to end up adding some um, other architectural things to this to kind of make it fit nicely. No. Um, I guess we're going to go with this one. Let's see. Oh, this one's the plaster. Kind of like that. And then let's see what they have in their roofing for that. Um, I want to see. No, that's not what I want. Yeah, I want to move it, but like, I want to, there we go. No, I don't like that at all. Um. Do they have like a, that's a breeze block. No, I wish they, I want to see if they have like a plaster that's asphalt. Corrugated plastic, glass, and I do like these um, glass 
rooftops. I don't want to leave it a little bit low, but it does fit a lot better if it's up properly up here. All right, there's that. Um, let's see the walls again. I want to like have like an archway maybe. It's breeze block. Mm. Pick glass. I feel like we could have our... Well, I, I don't know. I was just trying to see like... You can kind of create like a little entry area or something. I don't know. I could probably do maybe do that with like um this is all metal, it's mud. Oh here's the plaster. I probably could have just there we go. It's not gonna help on that one is it? I wish that I could do this on a smaller. Anyways, I'm not gonna mess up with all that right now. Okay, I get so caught up in some of this stuff sometimes. It's okay. Um, oh, we need to make sure that this other bathroom has a pathway to it. We're going to just go ahead and move all that right over here because I don't need to be trying to fight all that. And we could put something else, maybe like um, a little info counter. There we go. And then we're going to duplicate that and duplicate that and then we're gonna go back to that construction with the plaster oh what if we did this oh I like that and then we're gonna need just a little front wall for this one how cute is that we're gonna add one of these little back walls back there for them just kind of feel a little enclosed. All right, well, this is like a good little beginning to this. Um, I feel like other than um, now just figuring out what animals we want, um, we are kind of in a really great setup. So, oh, look at all this space to fill in. Huh. Okay, try not to get overwhelmed here. And try not to be completely annoyed by that. But I can't make promises. You know what I think I might do? I'm going to back the, these up. Nope. No, I'm not. I'm not going to mess with it. Because messing with it does what? Am I going to like it better if I just do this? And make these little... Okay. That seems less crazy. And maybe if I just keep adding a couple of these little things, it'll soften it out. Hopefully. That's one of the things that is cool, but also frustrating sometimes on this game is like, if you have like a little section. <gasps> no, no, no little section that just doesn't really sit right it's kind of like oh my goodness okay so for this zoo we're gonna have to look at things we got 26,000 and honestly we should see we don't have anything here but we do need to make sure we look at the exhibits I love the exhibits they are something that um, I used to produce a lot of income for my zoos because I tried a lot of the animals from my exhibits. Um, so, 
what we're get we're gonna go back to this main thing here as you can see zero animals zero anything but we have spent thirteen thousand ninety five dollars so far so we've got to be careful we've got to get a couple of things in here that are not overly expensive um, and we can't be using up a ton of our credits because we don't have a ton of the conservation credits right now those red lemurs are looking pretty cute um, and yeah, so I feel like this video has kind of gotten long. So for the next video, we're going to do um, the deep dive into the animals. But just to kind of give you guys an idea of what we're going to do, um, we're going to look at mostly um, some bears and monkeys and some grasslands to start with. And then we're going to kind of go from there. Um, but because that's going to be a whole other really long integrated video, um, and this one has gotten a little bit longer than I wanted, but you can kind of just see the beginning stages of this zoo and This entrance here. We've got it set up and maybe we could open it just to kind of see um, If people come in and you know, just get a couple get a couple dollars maybe But um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you subscribe so that you can Get all of the upcoming videos with this uh, franchise zoo in Planet Zoo uh, series. Get all the videos and see how this place grows and evolves and get all the scenery. I love being able to see all the animals as they come in. Wow, this is just stunning. I can't wait to see how this evolves and I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. So stay tuned and um, join me next week for more of this uh, series. Bye guys.